a horror game where we are going out into the woods to look for our daughter who is missing. That's it, so... Alright, um... It looks kind of like we are in some sort of building and not a house. Oh, we're at the police department? That makes sense. We're gonna tell them our daughter's missing and they're gonna say, We do not care, she is just a runaway. And I'm gonna be like, No, no, I'm gonna go in the woods alone now. This is a good plan. Sir, any news about my daughter? Hmm, I'm on. It's been around two months and we still don't have any updates. I'm sorry. How is that possible? You know where my daughter was last seen. Why haven't you gone there to search? Look, that place isn't normal. None of our officers are willing to go there and search the forest. Why? What's wrong with that place? That place is called Devil's Rest. Many of our officers believe that the demon is summoned- Oh, it's an interesting twist already at the start of the game. What the hell? Are you even serious? Are you even educated? I'm sorry, Amon, but I can't help you. If you want, you can go there alone and search, but then we'll also have a missing case for you. Okay, and there you go, that's the backstory. Oh, what's this? Summoning? Paimon? Why? If you seek to summon Paimon, heed these instructions well, for they are not for the faint of heart. Paimon, the ancient demon who can only be summoned- I mean, can only be called forth by those who truly understand the peril they invite. First, you must locate the four magical stones. These stones are not merely artifacts, but the very essence of Paimon, fragmented and scattered across this cursed land. Each stone represents a part of Paimon's being. Once you have gathered all four stones, you must proceed to the coffin of Paimon, the very place where Paimon was last- Can we stop saying his name so many times? This coffin lies in the heart of the Forgotten Cemetery, shrouded in darkness and guarded by P, loyal sentinels. Beware of these guards, for they will test your resolve. But be warned, summoning this dude requires more than just the stones. You must possess a reason- Wait. You must possess a reason so compelling that he cannot ignore your call. This reason must be etched into your soul, for only then will Paimon deem you worthy of an audience. Once the stones are in place and your reason is true, he will rise from his slumber. Do not undertake this lightly, for the consequences of summoning him are dire and irreversible. Only those who are prepared to face the darkness within and without should proceed. So are they saying I have to like remember these steps? Because I don't want to. Locate four magical stones. Hmm. And then once I've gotten them, go to his coffin. Coffin lies in the heart of a forgotten cemetery. Okay, we'll see if I can remember that. Check mail. Is, do we have anything else actually to look at here? I don't think so. Alright, never mind then. We also have this. Um, I don't think we need that because we already have the ritual up on the laptop. Anything else we need before we get going? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're good. Okay. Alright, so we have a counter in the corner of how many stones we got. I guess we'll just check the obvious house first. That's just chilling here. Oh. Okay. I already see a little bit of an- oh, a big issue in here. Well, that's not good. Well, I don't think that's our daughter though, at least. That's, uh, some guy. So that's not too problematic, I guess. Do you have a stone? Oh, he has a book, just like me. Uh, is he a cultist, or did cultist get him? One or the other, I don't know. Oh, is that his brain? Huh? It just doesn't look like his head was ripped open, does it? I don't know. Anyway, um... Okay, in the bathroom we have... Is that a skull? It's not his skull. Weird. And, uh, I, I, what the fuck's even that? I don't know. Alright, anyways, it doesn't look like there's a stone in here. Um... I guess, and that's- is that a torso? It's strange. Various limbs. Alright. One last look at the scene. Sorry. I mean, I didn't do this, but sorry anyway. Alright, let's get going. Alright, what's uh- is that some more body parts over here? Oh, it is. Oh, there's, there's just a lot going on in these woods, huh? I feel like the police should actually come investigate instead of being spooked by ghosts.
I mean, you never know, they could have like hidden a crystal in one of these cars, so I just want to make sure we're looking properly. I don't know if I should like follow these bloody trails, if, if that'll lead me to a stone. This kind of just stops here, it doesn't really lead anywhere else, so... Oh wait, no, actually, there's another one over there. That's not a stone, is it? Oh, you know what I think it is? Hey, we got a stone, let's go. Alright, that was a little bit easier than I expected. Oh, there's a uh, invisible wall here, so we're not going that way anymore. Okay, let me uh, jog myself back over here. And now I'm just gonna see if I can explore this house. I know there probably isn't a stone in here since I already grabbed the stone on the outside of this place, but um... Just thought I heard some rustling behind me. Alright, it doesn't look like I can actually get in here, so never mind, I guess. Also, I do hear some, like, faint whistling. I don't know if it's supposed to be just birds out here or an indication that there's someone out here watching me, but, um, I'll try to ignore it. Okay, what's this? It looks like some sort of hut. And once again, there's just a bunch of- oh, look, a stone. I think it might be on- oh no, it's right here. Uh, what's this? What's that? Was that there the whole time? Was was that there when I came in? I feel like it wasn't. What's up? How are you? Is it, oh, that's nothing at all. Okay. I thought from a distance it looked like it was a spider. A giant spider. Just alien spider staring at me. Am I silly for thinking that from a distance? And with these poor pixel qualities? Alright, anyways. um, We're, we're kind of nailing things. Alright, I'm going to keep going this way and then we'll eventually check the other side and work our way back down towards the car and then obviously once we have all the crystals we'll uh look for a coffin uh i already forgot the details about where it is i know heart of cemetery okay i remember now let me just look over here because that bit over there seems to be shining oh, never mind dead end i mean well invisible wall is what i mean to say also there's even an invisible wall that way as well so I guess we'll go this way. I think I see the faint glow of a crystal over here. So, okay. This is interesting decorating they did. Um, okay, that's- you know, it's not my problem. I don't need to fix any of this. I'm just here for my daughter. <laughs> Jeez, I, I don't know what that whole scream was. Uh. Alright, well we just need one more uh, thingy, magic stone. My educated guess is that it's somewhere back this way. Okay, there's this huge house here. Let's uh, check this, I guess. Alright, it doesn't look like we can go in, so if there is a stone here, it's probably just awkwardly stuck on the back. Or maybe, can I go in here? No. Can I go this way? No. All right, never mind. This house was a bust. I'll just keep them going down, back towards where my car is. All right, is there anything at this weird altar? I mean, th there's something here. I don't think it's what I'm looking for exactly, though. It's a lot of something going. On. Oh wait, is does that is that a stone? No, it's a head. Never mind. It was the gray of the hair that made me think it was a stone. All right, and here's our car. So we'll just uh, go out a bit farther, I guess. So far I've found all of the stones on building, so I don't think they're gonna just randomly be out um, in the woods. Oh, I, f I found the coffin. Oh, I forgot about his, uh, said his bodyguard or something, his sentinels. Anyways, yeah, I don't know where this last stone is, unless I can, like, get back there, but I don't think I can. Okay, so I already checked that. I already checked this big building here, right? Well, the path did continue this way, so let's, um, follow the path a little bit longer. I already went to that tent, so I feel like we've seen everything there is to see. Oh wait, no, actually. Oh right, this is where I got one of the stones already. 
Hmm, what am I missing? I thought that this path veered off in this direction, but it doesn't. Oh, I didn't notice all this. There's a whole little almost a village area here. That's interesting. Um, I feel like there has to be stone here, right? I'm just not seeing it, but um... Oh, there it is. You mind if I just get by? You mind? Okay. We did it. Okay, now we can go back to his coffin, which is right over here. Before I do that, let me just check my notes one more time, just in case it's like very important that I do things just right. Safety first, you know? Oh, I can't get back in to look at the notes. Okay, no problem. I don't think there's really much to it. Just go to the coffin and make sure that you have a good reason for summoning Paimon. And my reason is, you know, do you know where my daughter is, by the way? Just wondering. Hopefully he'll think that's a solid enough reason. Alright. Um, do I have to talk to these buddies first? I don't know. They look kind of cool. Is that like a smiley face? Oh, I can't actually get up to it. Oh, I put them here. Okay, there we go. We'll see if he actually comes and we get to see him. That'd be cool. I wonder what he would look like. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, I guess we're just not gonna see. Never mind. I was looking forward to it. You have brought me into this world. There must be a compelling reason for my summoning. Don't worry, I have a good reason to summon you. I don't I don't know. I, I don't I don't feel that confident about a reason to be honest with you. I know you can bring the dead back to life. I want my daughter alive. I can resurrect her, but it will not be without a price. I will give you a body to inhabit in this world. Very well, but re to revive her, I demand her lifeless form. I have brought it with me. Really? What? I thought he said he didn't know where she was. I'm confused. Did he kill her? And if he killed her, why would he even want to resurrect her then? <laughs> to be continued. Okay. So it left us with a lot of questions at the end there. Um, I don't know if this is the same Amon who made a game we played a few weeks ago. And I don't even think it was a few weeks. I think it was like two weeks ago. And one of the- oh. Actually, we're getting some more story. Who's there? It's me, Amon. You applied for the job, right? <laughs> That's the name of the developer. Yes, I did apply for the job. I really want this opportunity. Alright, I have a job for you. Thank you so much. So the job is to take care of your house for about seven days, correct? Yes, that's right, but there's an additional responsibility. I have my elderly grandmother and she's very ill. She can't move from her bed, so you'll need to take care of her as well. Okay. My daughter and I are going on vacation, so we need someone to look after the house and my grandmother. What's her name? <laughs> yes, of course. You, you couldn't even pretend that that wasn't her name? Alright, so he took possession of their grandma. And obviously he resurrected the daughter at the end there. Guard her. Please guard her well. Is that the name of the next game? I guess so. I mean, okay. This was a free game. So for a short free indie game, good. It's solid. It's fine. It looks cool. I liked- yeah, I like this scene right here. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!